Blessings, greetings everybody. I'm just here to jump on, to say a few words. Nothing special, um, nothing too dramatic. How everybody doing today? It's a hot day, right? Yeah man, make sure everyone stay hydrated. Make sure you understand yourself before you go to the Dasonia. Without properly hydrating yourself. Hi everybody. Alright, so I just want to jump on for a little today. Just to talk about a few things, you know, it's been on my mind. And I think it's full time we start. Pop up the camera here now and start say a few things because you see we sit down and we kinda of watch what go on and we do what we're supposed to do in accordance with you know being a statesman and being responsible. Um, and we always carry responsibility uh, on our shoulders as leaders and it's a reflection um, of a deeper mindset um, they say actions speak louder than words right so for me it's been all about action for quite a while and when I say action I mean, not just talking, right? Bringing home the receipts, bringing home the information, going out and standing up and, you know, you know, utilizing um, the avenues and channels that have been, um, you know, available to us. And us, I'm talking as a people, you know, uh, they say Maroons, but I'm talking about the people on this island that we call Jamaica because the Maroons were Jamaicans before the 1962 Jamaicans, right? And this is what uh, is a lot of the, the confusion, the narrative and the, you know, the distortion of, you know, what it is that the Maroons are trying to do. Um, a big part of our mission, right, has been educating and informing um, the masses. Right, I think I'm going to start use up my camera a little bit more because I think there's some stuff that we really have to get um, in front of the peoples right now, not tomorrow, not next year, not next month, right now. Why right now? Because the decisions that are being taken by the ones in power are abusing your rights, and you're not you're not in the know. So, why is it so important this time around? constitution reform we're trying to bring the island to peace we're trying to settle jamaica jamaica has never been settled by a colonial power let me say that to everyone out there who's watching and who never really took time out to sit down and really listen too much misinformation and disinformation yes that's been out there's been spewing it's been pervading the space and a lot of it is deliberate a lot of it is deliberate because they want to shut the doors on informed decision making and i don't need to spell it to you the people anymore why it is so crucial now more than ever that you pay attention but i'm just gonna give it to you and you're going to either choose to take it or you just drop it and leave it nothing nothing, nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that chief richard curry was elected he was not propped up he was not selected by any one individual a group of anybody he's not mean he's not lobbying for anybody chief richard curry is a maroon blood blood birth right my soul speaks maroon and what is maroon maroon is a spirit of freedom right that's what maroon is maroon is a mentality of freedom a mindset of freedom a mindset of liberation so from time immemorial right the ones them where them couldn't catch. The one them where them couldn't confuse. The one them where them couldn't drag and haul and pull. Them call them maroon. Because we take to the hills and then we warrior you from the hills. Right? Then came peace. Peace that the people on the island who were here, the Jamaicans who were here before the 1962 Jamaica, that they gave the name maroons, who were here, preserved the land for themselves and their posterity. What does that mean? For the first time in 300 years, the Moors knew what it was to live in peace and freedom again after over 300 years of oppression and slavery. The freedom that the Maroons fought for what was the catalyst 
to the Haitian Revolution, which was started by another Maroon, Dutty Bookman. The only difference between Haiti and Jamaica is that whereas Jamaica signed a treaty with the British, Haiti decided to kick out the French totally, obliterated them. Do you see what's happening in Haiti right now? A state that we should be proud of. We see Haitians come on our borders and they're turned around the same day. Our brothers who fought the resistance with us. But me ask you know something. How much of you know things say I just know both I travel from Jamaica go Haiti and vice versa? Let me ask you a question there. I'm going to make you know something. Because you probably not do no research. I know some more sound and you not do no research. But a lot of pundits and talk, talk, talk. People who don't have nothing to do with history and the culture. You know, they mean all kind of corner, lock up in a room, talk, talk, talk. Right? Resistance in Haiti. The indigenous militia was constituted of Maroons. Maroons of both Haiti and Jamaica. Right? Why you think the British were so confused and couldn't defeat the Maroons? Why you think they were so confused where they kept coming from? We fought a war together. We sought freedom together. Then why are we treating the Haitians like they're substandard, third class, fourth class citizens? They're celebrated as, a, they're celebrated as leaders of liberation too. Why isn't there a concerted effort from a humanitarian perspective, not political, not economical? Where's the humanitarian aid for Haitians? Where's the humanitarian aid for the suffering Jamaicans? I'm going to show you something else. We talk a lot about the maroon them a try to split Jamaica and separate Jamaica and this and that. For those who never know, Jamaica did split from 1738. Jamaica was split jurisdictionally from 1738. Jamaica was given its republic for its inhabitants of the island from 1738. But what did, what, did they, what did they do then? They signed an agreement that allowed the British to continue doing business here even though we defeated them. Why was that? Why was it? They talk about the, 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 um, the Maroons um, you know, selling out them brothers and turning over, um, you know, joining in the British in fighting against the, 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 the other Maroons and the Second Maroon War. Why do you think all these narratives are being put forward in front of you people? Nobody knows substantiate what was happening, the facts of what took place on the ground in those times. But no, everything has been pumped into your ears the way you perhaps want to hear it. Because they want to deprive you of your birthright. The Treaty of 1738 was to protect the rights of the inhabitants of the island. Let me say that again. The Treaty of 1738 ensured that today in today's Jamaica, people like you and me can say, yeah, we have land. And no colonial authority can hold this. So we don't want to give up that now. And then we get up tomorrow and knock pan and ball and talk about, oh, we can't get no beach access. Oh, Jamaica no land. Oh, look, come, come tear down my house and them tear down. There is nobody on crown land today that should be moved off those lands. Why? Crown land is not government land. Crown land is an agree crown lands are lands that are in agreement or treaty with the British that can be used by either the government or the inhabitants of the island. Bombshell. You never know that. You never know that, not true. So you never know, say the Maroons can actually defend your rights on those pieces of crown lands. You never know that either, right? They've not gonna tell you that. Let me give you another juice. Who did know say after 1962 
what was entered into a 60 year agreement that was now called the, the, the Jubilee which we celebrated in 2022 2022 was signaling the end of an arrangement between the crown and its colonies what does that mean now? it means then subsequent to the recognition of this jubilee you saw where prince charles before he became king made up a, a very prominent speech commonwealth speech where he spoke to the relationship of the commonwealth and he spoke about the willingness of nations wanting to move forward in becoming republic go look up that speech he made it last year i'm gonna post it again but he made it again and why did why, why did you think he say he said what he said he encouraged nations to pursue establishing their republic status and these are his colonies that he's talking about but what he said in that speech it was that it's important right that conversations be had right to rectify long-standing issues between state parties and the indigenous communities right why is that important it's important because there are agreements that are there that must be honored the, the, the crown wants us to pull away the crown wants us to become a republic we want to become a republic but how can we become a republic that says out of many one people when from this one people there are so many that this government fails to recognize they fail to acknowledge and you want to unify the people on this land you want to bring about peace and harmony on this land? Why do you think there's so much crime? Nobody has land. Nobody settled. Nobody can plan. Generational wealth stop a one place up here, so. One set of people not to see generation wealth. Why aren't the police, doctors, lawyers, soldiers, why aren't there agreements in place for crown lands to put lands into the possession of these people how then are we expecting to fight crime and solve crime how long we are going to hide behind the shadows of colonialism and not talk the truth we are going to benefit with people them instead now some pundits who know nothing on them don't know nothing about history right every night you know, you jump on line on there and blah, 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 blah. I'll take that information and get up tomorrow and the same thing you know I look for. Good people they are make them life sacrifices for open your eyes and you see it. Hey, you wanna, wanna sit down for a second and listen. I want the disenfranchised, the disconnected. I wanna stop for a second and listen. Because the fact of the matter is, we're not going to keep walking the same route, doing the same things, and expect changes. How can change come if you keep doing the same thing, brother and sister? God give you no more to talk up. Y'all have a voice. After 60 years, which did you believe would have been celebrated? That was a signal. To the people and to the governments formerly of the crown to, to begin these conversations to settle long-standing issues to settle our beloved nation but some people won't allow that some people don't want that and i will say it's not everybody in the government that's holding this position it's only a few so why do we keep allowing the few to behave as if they're the, the, they are the full authority and only authority 
that has a voice to speak on land here in Jamaica. I said this to you and I said it to you straight. You don't give up the treaty, you don't give up the whole land. Just know that. Don't come crying again. It's over after that. Ta ta. Anyone sitting on crown land in the last 60 years can claim for that land against the crown. Uh, the crown. Not Jamaica. Not the government of Jamaica. The crown. May I break a piece of bread, Gino, now? So if you are your family, is on a piece of crown land. And you've been there for the last 60 years and you know I'm not title. You can claim the land there and we can help you do that. We can help you claim that land. There should be no one that's taken off crown lands in, this, in, in today's world. Not today's Jamaica. There's a treaty. There is a treaty that preserved this land for you and the posterity, meaning your offsprings. So you want to give that way now? You don't want to give that way now and then come back and say, Oh, government, this government, that and that. You don't have the right people. Now is the time for the people of the island to unify in telling the government what we want as a responsible government. We have the authority to now structure and settle our country how we want to settle it. You're going to just sit back and, and, and watch the Dali House go on? I'm going to say it to I'm say it to again. You have land rights. You're an inhabitant of this island. The 60th Jubilee was a signal. And that is why Chief Corey stepped up his ante. Because we know what was happening. Not many pay attention to the history. Not many pay attention to the culture. But lack of information shall be our demise. For the few who know, we will stand and fight until you recognize the importance of what it is we're fighting for. You think it's just for Maroons? No. I feel all I know. So all who think them are talking and I say, oh, bad man, this man, bad Maroon, them are this Maroon, I try this man. Go and play your puppet games. We see the strings. No string over Maroon head. The Maroon, them are suffer. Them are suffer. I don't think no, I don't think no pretty life up there. Yeah, we make it look good, but we take no pretty life up there. We land full of abundance here. We land full of abundance. We have food. We cut no more. We have food. We have land. We have water. How much longer will you not deny yourself and deny your people? How much longer will you deny yourself your right, your full authority over your land? How much longer will you sit by and be puppeteered into believing that what the Maroons, the Moors, are fighting for doesn't belong to you too? It's your inheritance too, brother. It's your inheritance too, sister. Make we settle the island. Make we fix the police them. Make we fix the soldier them. Make we fix the nurse, the doctor. Make we fix the trade man them. Give them piece of land. Put it in an agricultural trust. Make we farm up Jamaica. And we could give them a return off of the land. The land is sitting there. Doing what? Oh. Being earmarked for foreign interests. And mining. Oh. Okay. 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 Intelligence come for liberating you know, from a you know, prison bridging. Wake up. Wake up Jamaica. Wake up. I'm going to start talking more. Because it looks like a this man figure to know. I'm not going to make nobody come and bad bad this up. I take off my statesman hat this minute because something, something, I see something a while ago will trigger me. I take off my statesman hat because I said I have to talk to one on one right now. And I go wake up again. See? The Maroons are fighting for you. The Maroons preserve the land for you. The crown, in recognition of that, is indicating to a government who has an obligation to recognize its people, and they're not. But no, they'll recognize everybody else but their people. So we're not going to do about it. We're not going to sit down and give that way too. Oh, all right. All right. A chief courier not had for. Remember, say chief courier fight for you know, whether you love it or not. Whatever comes, remember that the Moors of this land defended you. And when your kids ask, Mommy, Daddy, what happened? Tell them the truth. Daddy was scared to say something. Mommy was afraid. We step out of carpet 
and step back into the hills because we see what was about to go down. And we are going to defend that. We do it by the books. We're not a rebel society. Right? We've been to Geneva. We've been to the international courts. We've been to the local courts. We've had the United Nations Regional Security head come to a compound. We've had the US State Department and embassy come to a compound. Why do you think these things are happening? Why do you think these people are coming to a compound? All right. Go and make people pick on a brain and use them like a bird brain pounder, yeah? We over here saw work. Everybody who see the work, go and support the work. And who understand the mission, go and put in your work. See? A bigger call is coming. Make sure you're there to answer it. Love and honor and respect. Peace.